Welcome back to the long overdue Kiss Constrictor show. I'm Jeff. With me as always is nobody. Tyler went to a high school football game. Jen is upstairs doing homework or something on a Friday night. I don't understand that, but uh, anyway, that's what she's doing. And Jordan is somewhere where she said she doesn't want to interrupt my talking with her video. Or she doesn't want me to interrupt her video with my talking. So anyway, we're going to cut this um, clutch. It's pretty much all cut already. They've they've all cut themselves out today. This is, get down, Sky. This is um, Sindel's clutch. Sindel is a cinnamon lesser, and she was bred. I'm going to cut your tail off. Get down. I'm going to cut your tail off. Get, 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 get. Uh, Sindel was a cinnamon lesser, and she was bred to Cyrax, which she is a cinnamon lesser champagne ghost. Um, so, lots of, lots of possibilities here. Um, I did see four heads poking out earlier today. And those foreheads were really, really light colored. Looked like all white to me. So, I don't know, it looks like a bunch of bells, which is awesome news. Okay. So. Let's take their existing cuts that they made and just open them up a little bit. Oh, there's a camera. Oops, tripping. That's an all white snake. Now in all uh, full disclosure, Cyrax was listed as possible cinnamon, but the only reason they said possible is because, well, he's got a ringer on him, and they said uh, champagne with cinnamon is what makes those ringers. So, are you guys seeing him? He's so cool. There's two looking bells. And here's another one. There's three. Yet another one. That's four. Um, okay. Five out of six are all white. It is an all white snake. How in the world did we end up with six bells? That is insane. I don't even know what to say, guys. Let me go wash my hands. As they start to come out, maybe they'll change colors. I don't know. If anybody has more experience than me and can explain this, please let me know. How in the world? I mean, I guess it's just crazy odds. I don't know. But the first three years, we couldn't, or first two years, we couldn't catch a bell for, to save our life. And then six in one clutch, six out of six. That's, uh, 
It's crazy to me. Hey guys, just a quick update um, on the uh, the mystery clutch. Um, ev not everybody has shed, but most of them have shed. So I'm going to show some of them off. Um, still, still quite the mystery about um, what we got going on here because I don't see any like typical blue eyes. Here's a flashlight. I still don't know. Again, the pairing is a uh, cinnamon lesser to a cinnamon lesser champagne ghost. So every single thing in here is white. Some of them obviously have uh, champagne influence because there's some ringers. So I'm looking for any kind of help I can get with these. Um, that's one. This one is really cool. I'm thinking, I don't know if you're going to be able to see in the camera. See the yellow stripe down the back? I don't know. Like, does that happen with a bell and champagne? It says black eyes too. But, that one definitely has shed. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if this one's shed yet or not, but look at its head. And here's another one that's got some coloration to it. It's not perfectly white like a bell. It's got that gray brownish tint on his head. I mean, they're really cool looking snakes. Don't, don't get me wrong. I am not disappointed in the least. And just baffled on what's going on here. This one's even um, dirtier looking still. Um, and when I say dirty, it's just, I mean, it's like a, a dingy off-white. One of them I saw earlier has a distinct ringer. Let me see if I can find that one. Yeah, right here. This one's kind of like his dad. I don't know if I can get it in camera. I'm going to have to call on some uh, more experienced people to help me with this clutch because I just don't know. This one hasn't shed yet. This skin is feeling pretty um, loose. I'll probably shed tonight. Anyway, that's everybody. Oh, you're probably wondering who I have around my neck. Um, this is one of the, the many snakes that I just purchased um, from a collection. He offered me a, a deal that I, was just too good to pass up. So I bought his entire collection, um, babies and uh, breeding adults. Um, that's what all the racks are behind me. I got his racks too. Anyway, this guy here, um, I don't remember what if he had a name for him at his place, but um, something happened during the travel. I don't know if you can see this, but he's got this bulge right here. I took him to the vet. Um, I don't know that this makes any sense, but this is what the vet told me. She said that she felt like he was um, not impacted, but um, backed up, like constipated, uh, probably from traveling. And she felt like the fecal matter was pushing up against his spur area when he was trying to go. 
and causing this bulge or abscess looking thing. So they gave him an enema. She said it was very productive. A lot of a lot of junk came out, a lot of poop came out, and she felt like he was cleaned up. Um, X-ray didn't show any kind of other problems. They did um, blood work and um, said that there was no no uh, you know bloodborne diseases or anything going on with him. Um, and then she gave me three antibiotic shots to, to administer here at home, which today was the third shot. And to me, it doesn't look like it's gone down at all. I don't, I don't think it has, it doesn't look like it's as red. Maybe it was kind of like a, a red irritated color. Um, but now it's not. Um, I, so I don't know, maybe the antibox is working. I'm going to give them a call in a couple of days after today's third shot. Um, it was supposed to be every 72 hours, so maybe I'll give him another 72 hours and see how he looks. Um, I can feel a little knot in there. It rolls around. Um, so I'm not really sure what that is or what caused that. I, I kind of am not buying off on her, her theory about fecal matter pushing up against the spur causing an abscess. I mean, I'm not a doctor, but that just, I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me because it... I don't know. Anyway, maybe that's what it is. But anyway, he has been since he's been here. Obviously, you know we we do Mortal Kombat names. So, like I said, I don't know what his name was there, but his name here now is Havoc. Um, there was a rumor that uh, <laughs> he was the only vicious snake in his collection, and that he was nicknamed Bitey because every time he opened the cage. He liked to strike at you and bite at you and um, since he's been here I can honestly say that uh, he hasn't struck at me one, one time not tried to bite me at all um, he lets me hold him he actually actually seems to like it when I hold him and he even lets me pet his head he's he's just a little bit skittish about his head being rubbed, but after he gets over the initial touch, then he seems to like it. I'm not sure what you were doing to this poor fellow that had him so scared to death of you, but Havoc seems to like it here. Anyway, I'm just messing with you. I'm sure that there was uh, maybe just a change in climate. Maybe he just, maybe he's a Southern guy. Maybe he just likes the Southern weather more. Maybe he's just irritated because he was always cold or knew it was going to be cold. I don't know. Either way, he's happy here. And I'm trying to get him fixed up and get his get his tail looking right again. Um, I will be vending at the um, Tampa Repticon this weekend. Um, I don't have any banners or anything made up yet. It was kind of like a last minute thing. Um, I got invited to go um, share some tables with some other folks that uh, I enjoy being around, some friends of mine. And um, so just going to bring over a lot of these babies that are behind me. Um, so if you guys live in the area and you want to come to the Repticon, that'd be cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the support. I'm not even going to say like and subscribe and share and all that stuff because... I'm not in, in, into this for these subscribers or fame or recognition or any of that. I just like the people that appreciate watching. So um, that's it. Stay tuned for the next updates and I will see you next time. Ciao.